Hey guys. So whenever we talk about HTML, CSS or JavaScript, you basically understand that it helps you to make some website or something. Okay, and they have some use cases. But what are the actual use cases? We'll try to figure out. If I'm using HTML, what is the purpose of that? If I'm using CSS, what is the purpose for that? And then JavaScript. Okay, so we'll take an example and try to explore it. So let's get started. Hey guys, my screen look quite colorful, right? Awesome, I think this is the best background I've ever used. Anyway, so we are going to talk about what is the purpose of HTML, CSS or JavaScript? Why do we actually write those code? We know they help us to make our website, but what is the actual reason? Okay, so what is the website? A website that everyone likes to use it or you have used it somewhere, whether you have bought it on your own or used your friends, uh, like what is the email ID and password, but we all have, all of us have, have seen like Netflix, right? Okay. So this is the Netflix. Okay, I'll reload it just to show you some of the features of Netflix. I hope all of you know it. In case if you don't know, no problem. It's just like you did. Okay, so this is what a Netflix uh, looks like. It will have a, okay. This video will by defaultly play. Okay, it's not playing as of now, but yeah, defaultly, yes, the video is playing. The I have muted, the, muted it, so you'll not hear any noise from Netflix side. Yeah, this video is playing, remember it. And then we go, there are number of sections in which Netflix is suggesting us more movies. If we go more down, more and more movies will keep on coming. Okay. So this list keep on continuing. It does not end. Right. Okay. Some other features like let's suppose, let's take this movie, Bahubali. Okay. So we are here. Okay. So we got a pop-up kind of thing. Right. If I click on this, I'll get a, a more modal kind of thing. Okay, in which there is more description about it, right? So these are some of the features. Awesome, great. So now what I have done, I have added a Chrome extension. The name of the Chrome extension is uh, Disable HTML. You can also add it. What is the purpose of this? That I can disable things one by one. The so step number one, I'll dis disable JavaScript. Okay, and we'll see what is the purpose of JavaScript. Off. So I'm here and I have turned it off. So now I have turned it up basically to redo it again. Okay. Then the website will basically know, oh my God, JavaScript is missing. If I say, you'll say no change. How is this possible? Was this website not using JavaScript? I'll say this was heavily using JavaScript. But so step number one, this video is no longer playing. Step number one. Step number two, as we go down, more and more things are not coming up. It's showing that it is about to come. That is a design it has been made but it's never coming, more and more sections. When I hover on a particular section, a pop-up used to come earlier. That pop-up is gone. No more pop-ups, right? So basically I cannot interact with this web page in simple words. If I hover somewhere or do something, basically that is not working. It's more of a static page now. This is what HTML, I mean to say JavaScript is affecting. Now let's go to the next case and be ready to surprise. CSS, I turned off the CSS. Okay, let's ignore the other three images. We, of course, we are allowing it cookies and pop ups. Ignore it for now. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll reload this. And here we are. Oh my god, such a bad page. Oh my god, what is the why is this one so big? Oh my god, so you can see what is happening, right? A totally such a page that is not presentable enough to see. So I, and this is the pure HTML. Yes, you heard me right. So this is how your pure HTML is. Okay, so let me bring it back. So once I bring the CSS back, you'll be seeing CSS is like the earlier case. Okay. And so basically the things are back. Awesome. I'll even bring the JavaScript back. Okay. So if you reload it, you'll be like, Awesome, even JavaScript is back, right? So of course model, models and all that will come. Hey, please come. Okay, it was loading, sorry. If I go it now, yes, things are popping up. And if I go down, more and more things will come, right? Awesome. So that's all. 
uh, about uh, like what do you say? I'm just showing you this. Okay. So now let's uh, understand from this conclusion what do we basically learn. Okay. So what I'll do? I'll just keep it here so that something don't pop up. Okay. Okay. Step number one. Okay, so JavaScript is basically adding interactivity to your website. CSS is adding a kind of like presentable feel or beauty to your website and HTML is the backbone. How is the backbone? Like basically you are creating these images with the help of HTML. You are writing a heading with the help of HTML. You are writing something like for example, this movies have been written with the help of HTML. Then CSS has helped it to like style it or make it presentable. And JavaScript has basically helped it to like if you want to add some interactivity feature to it in simple words. Okay. So I'll be like, okay, yes, I got it. So uh, what do, what should we conclude from that? Okay, let me give you a simple example so you can easily conclude. Let's compare this HTML, CSS, and JavaScript with a human body. So if let's let's imagine a person who is uh, like like what do you say that a skeleton part of the person. The part of the person which you see and like if you really see a skeleton like I'll jump and say boot and run away right. We have done it in our chemistry labs in 9th and 10th. I don't remember some sorry biology lab. Okay. Sometime you have seen a skeleton at ever not then at least in movies you have seen a skeleton. It's really frightening and that is what HTML is. HTML is not frightening but yeah the feel is not presentable. So our skeleton is the backbone of our body without that we cannot imagine our body. This is what HTML is. So everything is basically made by HTML. So everything is made because of that skeleton. And based on that skeleton, we have our skin color, cloth, style, presentation, each and everything. This thing is called CSS. So beauty of the website. This thing is basically called CSS. So you got it, right? So now you will say, okay, so this is CSS. Then why do we need JavaScript now? We have all the things. So now let's imagine a person who is paralyzed. He has HTML, he has CSS. Some beauty he has like, CSS does not necessarily means it should be very good. Like you can you can be a bad uh, with colors also. So you can make a website which does not look presentable, but you still you have used the CSS. So he has both HTML, he has both used CSS. Both the things are totally with him. But since he's completely paralyzed, he's not able to move his hand. He is not able to perform any actions from his any body parts, right? This is where JavaScript come into picture. Like my hand has an interactivity feature, my nose has a feature, my mouth have a feature, each and every part of the body has a feature. This feature is basically you can compare with JavaScript. So now I think you can basically understand the function of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So in order to understand like uh, the point of studying the topic that you should be very clear about a particular topic, what is the specific purpose of that particular topic. Okay, hope I have helped you to understand that. So that's all in this particular video. I'll meet you up in the next video. Do let me know about the background. What do you think? How is the background? I feel it's totally the coolest background I ever had. So guys, I'll catch you up later. Bye bye. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed my video, right? And as you know, these kind of videos, we are able to bring such quality content because of Newton School. Newton School is a, like a platform which helps you guys to perform a great career. Okay, to me, it will help you to build a great career in full stack development. Whether you are a working professional or a fresher, doesn't matter. Okay, they have different kind of batches for everyone. If you are a fresher, the best thing is you don't have to pay until you guys get placed with a package of 5 lakhs or more. If you are experienced, depending on your previous package, you guys, we can sit and decide your new packages, right? And then finally, once you get placed, and that's the time to rock. So they help you guys to build a great career, okay? So if you are interested in get, getting a great career in the tech background, do check out the link that is below this video. Okay, guys. So see you in the next video. Wait, guys. Where are you going? So fast? That's not good. Why? Because you have to do something small, small thing. And what are those? First. Do like my uh, video if you really enjoyed it. Okay, give it a thumbs up. That's will be quite motivating for me. Okay, subscribe to my channel and do turn on the bell notification. Like what will happen? So you can get the future notifications of all my videos. Like I upload videos almost daily. Okay, if you have any doubts or confusion, don't forget to put a comment. I'll try to answer your query as far as possible. And you guys know, sharing is power, right? Sharing is knowledge, as it has been rightly said. So if you want both power and knowledge, do share it with your friends. Okay, and before you go, 
you can also check out this course on launchpad uh, like on launchpad you'll get much more features like quiz and other things after every video okay okay guys so now i'll see you in the next videos bye bye